Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about support material. We're going to talk about what options you have based on the printer that you own and we're going to talk about when to use which support type. So let's get started. All right, so the first option we have is the same material supports and that works great, especially if you only have one extruder and you can reach your supports with some pliers because you can simply remove them and get a pretty good looking part with a little bit of a rough finish where the supports touch your part. But if you have a more complex part like this, you're gonna have a harder time reaching in and removing these supports and that is where dual extruder comes in. All right, so if you have a dual extruder machine like the Ultimaker or BCN 3D, you have a little bit more options because you can use two materials at a time to use breakaway, PVA, BVOH, or Aquasys. Each one of those materials has a little bit of a different application. So let's break into breakaway. Breakaway support material, like the name suggests, still needs to be broken away. But what makes it really unique is that it's a different material than your base material, which means that you can print it just a little bit closer to your parts since it's not gonna bond to it, which leaves a little bit of a nicer surface finish. So if you can remove your support material with some pliers, breakaway is the way to go. So what if breakaway supports don't cut it for you? Well, now you can use soluble supports like PVA, BVOH, or Aquasys 120. And those soluble supports are really great for parts that are very delicate like this, or when you can't even reach your part and remove the supports, or you just need an overall better surface finish. PVA is compatible with these materials right here. And I like to use it with PLA and CPE the most because they're not very hydroscopic. With BVOH, I found that I tend to print with nylon and nylon cumber fiber because I found that it dissolves four to five times faster. BVOH is compatible with these materials right here and I tend to gravitate towards the more hydroscopic materials like nylon. Lastly, with high temperature materials like polypropylene or polycarbonate or even TPU, I like to use Aquasys 120. It works with all those three materials and many more. One thing to note about soluble support materials and breakaway as well is that these are hydroscopic, which means that these filaments will absorb moisture from the air and makes them a little bit harder to print. The best way to store these materials is in a Ziploc bag like this with some desiccant in it. That will stop the moisture from getting into the filament. If you found that your filament is hard to print with, you can use something like Print Dry to dry your filament so that it's printable again. And also you can feed it directly into your printer from this machine. Lastly, the last method to store your filament is in a materials handling station like this. Once you open up your filament from the brand new box, you will put your filament inside of the machine and it will keep the environment perfect for printing. If you follow all of these steps, you will have maximum printing success with soluble material. So that's it everyone. You've learned when to use which support material and for what application. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop us a comment below and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this. And if you wanted to pick up any of these filaments, get them at shop3d.ca. Until next time, I'm Felix.